I'm back. Yeah, let's uh, proceed with our webinar. I don't know if ever there's any other question before I can start sharing our question that we are doing. Is there any other question? If no other question, then we can proceed. And then for those, I can see some have logged out. I'm sorry for that, but uh, hopefully you will get uh, our recording. Okay, so on my introductions, I forgot to tell you that I once worked for the Law Society. I worked for the Law Society for about 10 years, and I was a an investigator, an auditor, so would go whenever there were complaints, look at the accounting records, and yeah, come up with reports that then would recommend whether FM should be referred to court for suspension or for striking or just for disciplinary whenever there are any contraventions of any sections of the ads or of any any rules. So yeah, that, that is where I got most of my knowledge on law firms, on uh, advocates firms. And uh, currently I more of like run a small practice and yeah, as an accountant and uh, I assist some attorneys with their bookkeeping, yeah, for trust. I really do audits because of uh, the risks. I'm scared of risks, so yeah, that is also what I do. Okay, let me then take you to our question. Okay, this is uh, the question that we are going to discuss. Going, we go through, I'll go through with you. Uh, unfortunately, like what I told you, I won't be able to hear you when you ask questions. So you can write down, but what you can do as well, you can unmute and then you can say something while least I'm busy working. I think I'll be able to hear you. But if you type on the chat, I won't be able to see anything on the chat. Okay, so our question, we are given that our firm is a VAT vendor. So if our firm is a VAT vendor, then it means the firm is registered for VAT. So most of our transactions when we are accounting, we have to account for VAT as well. So this is for the month of June 2022. And then we are told that we have to record the following transactions in all necessary cash books and ledger accounts, which are like ledger accounts is what we call T accounts. And uh, we should consider these transactions to be for one firm and that they occurred in June 2022. And then the other thing we are supposed to balance off the accounts and prepare the trial balance for the business transactions and a trial balance for the trust transactions. Okay, so I, I think now you have gone through the manual and what the manual says is that we are supposed to separate business and trust transactions. There should be a descending order. We are not supposed to mix up things. We are supposed to show these are trust transactions uh, accounted for separately from business transactions, okay? So when we are recording here, that's what we'll try to do. And what we'll also try to do is that we'll try to make sure that we record a particular transaction completely. We'll try to record it completely. But where we have omitted, we can always come back and see how to record it. Okay. So we, we are given transactions which occurred in our trust account. We are told that the trust account had an opening balance of 208,000 made up of the following 100 for Mr. Jaden and 108 
108,000 for Ms. Magda. Okay, so in this case, we are given how to split our opening balance. So in terms of our ledgers, we would then know that these two ledgers have got opening balances. Okay, and then we are told that we attended to the file of Mr. Jaden and raised an invoice of 25,000, including VAT. We transferred our fees on 29 June. So you, you also need to observe dates. We raised an invoice on the 15th, but our fees we only transferred on the 29th. So raising of an invoice, it's, 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 a, it's something that we do in the business side. We've done, we've done the work we've attended so on the business side we show that there are fees which are due to us and then on a particular date when we've recorded all our fees down we transfer from trust to business and then we are told that we briefed the advocate in the middle of miss Magda, and then the advocate rendered a bill of 7500 which we paid on 24 june okay so we've got money in trust we pay in trust. 30 June, we've got bank charges. Okay, so those are our, our, our trust transactions. And then we are also given business transactions, which we'll go through when we, we, we are working out. And then besides that, these are like general transactions that we have. Then we, we, we have a conveyancing matter that we our firm is attending to is attended to and uh, for, for, for that conveyancing matter, then we, we will need to attend to it, record it and make sure that it's complete. And then we also have a collection matter and then we need to record uh, that collection matter. So we only have two, 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 two matters. So our collection, collection matter also covers uh, correspondence like what I've indicated before. So it's only those two that we need to attend to as part of our accounting records. Remember, this is one firm. OK, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to unshare our question and then I'm going to try to like what we were doing last time side by side with an Excel document so that we do our T accounts while this we are reading, we are going through. I hope you'll be able to see. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I've got a platform where I can post you the question so that you can go through the question. I don't think I'll be able to post to you, but I hope you'll be, I'll be trying to read and then you, you understand. So for the 30 minutes, let's try to cover ground. Let's try to cover ground and see how far this can take us. OK, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to unshare and then I, can, I, will, I will then share when we have a side by side view. OK. So I've stopped sharing and then I'm going to, to, to share now. Um, the window. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Okay, so this is our screen. Uh, I know what I'll try to do is to reduce the side of uh, the question, but what I'll do is that I'll read it for you. That's our question there. So, so our firm is a VAT vendor, VAT vendor, but vendor, and uh, we are supposed to do our T accounts. So what, what I've done is that I've got just templates. You are now used to our T accounts. Excuse me. So I've got a template. So what we need to do is that as we are recording, we are starting with our trust account. So we've got a given trust account. So what I will do is that I'll create a, a, a sheet. 
for trust records. So maybe let me just do one for the trust cash book. Just like that. So I'm going to copy this given trust cash book. I'm just going to copy this one so that we do not waste time being creative. Okay, and then I'm going to enlarge it. I, I think now you, you more of like know how to deal with this. And then the next uh, thing that I'm going to create, I'm going to create a sheet for our trust ledgers. Okay. I hope you can see. So that's our trust ledgers. And I'm just going to copy a template of a, a trust ledger. That copy and paste. Okay, and then we'll just do further adjustments later. So with our trust cash book, we look at our first instruction. We are told that, so I go to, to, to our question, the trust account has got an opening balance of 208,000. 208, this is the month of June. So on 1 June 2022, we had an opening balance. So our trust account can never be in credit. That is the rule, one rule that we have. It can never be in credit. So we always know that it's a debit balance. It's, it's a debit balance just like that. So that is the balance that we have on 1 June 2022. Okay. And uh, we are told that this balance that we have is made up of uh, 100,000 for Mr. Jaden and 108 for Ms. Mahta. So which means we can already record in our ledgers. So our first ledger, trust ledger, would be for Mr. Jaden. Okay. Remember debits and credits or for a debit 208. These are trust creditors, trust creditors. So a creditor then should have a credit balance. Our trust, like in our trust account, our creditors should always have credit balances. If ever they have debit balances, then it means we are in trouble. We have taken more than what we are supposed to take. We are, the, the, the practice is to report itself to the LPC, to say we are having issues here, we've got debit balances. And even auditors, they report you if you've got debit balances. So those are some of the rules that are there in the in, and then it's an opening balance and how much are we having for mr jd 100 100 000. and also we are told okay okay we've got miss martha we create a ledger Miss marked. Okay, it's also one June opening balance, and the amount is 108, like that. I hope you are following through, and I'm not leaving you behind. Uh, I okay, I wanted to format a bit on our borders so that they become nettish, okay? And then uh, from there, we, we, we attend to the next, next instruction. So this is our cash book we've recorded. Then this is, these are our ledgers. Remember, debit and credit. Every transaction should have a debit and a credit, okay? A says, we attended to the file of Mr. Jaden and raised an invoice. So, 
when we are doing the work, now we are doing as a practice. We are doing as a practice, ne? So then it means we've got the business side of things. So we should have our um, business cash book. And also we should have our um, e business ledgers, which is uh, data ledgers or our meta ledgers. Yeah, so I'll call them meta. Okay, let me call them data ledgers. But you can call them as our... Um, and also, we have what we call the general ledger. Okay. So for our business cash book, the format is more of like the same as that one of the trust cash book. The format is the same. We've got our receipts side. We've got our payment side. It's only that we are now calling it a business cash book. Okay, and for our um, clients, clients' business ledgers or our meta's business ledgers, I'm calling them jitters today. It's also the same setup, more of like the same setup. It's only that our clients are our debtors, so they should have usually a debit balance. So it's rare that we we'll leave our clients with a credit balance it would mean then we we are owing them so the moment we the practice is owing them then it becomes a trust creditor then we have to move money to the trust account okay okay and then our general ledger so it's still the same format the same format t the t account should always be the same it's only that the only things that change now is that we don't call it receipts and payments. We call it uh, the debit side and the credit side. So even for our data, it's the debit side and the credit side. For our cash books, debit and credit, but for simplicity for you to remember, whatever that we receive on the receipt side, whatever that we pay on the payment side. Our trust ledgers, so it's also the same, the debit side and the credit side. Because the reason why these accounts, you can always find them in debit or in credit because of um, you know, recording issues or errors or anything, okay? Or when you are correcting errors, then you can either post on the debit or the credit, depending on how you interpret the transaction. Okay, so part A, it says we attended, I hope you can see, we attended to the file of Mr. Of Mr. Jaden. Let me try to enlarge. We attended to the file of Mr. Jaden here, that's where we are, and we raised an invoice on 15 June. So when we are raising an invoice, so basically that is what it's our fee. And the fee, uh, invoice that we are registering is for what? For 25,000, including VAT. So which means we have to look at how are we going to record this transaction on the 15th of June. So when we look at it, I'm also going to work to add in what I call workings. So our workings are basically journal entries for you guys to just understand. Okay. So we are raising an invoice. This is 15 June 2022. And we are raising an invoice of 25,000. So we need to show our description, which account is going to be debited, which account is going to be credited. and the debit and the credit like that. So that is your, your, your line of thinking when you 
you look at these things, this is the line of thinking that you should take. So for, for, for an invoice, so we are giving an invoice to our client, which is Mr. Jaden. So this is the business side of things on 15 June. So our client balance with us is going to increase in our business side. So he's our data. So, so let me say, uh, business data account. So this is Mr. Jaden. So we are, we are giving him an invoice and this debit balance is going to increase because it will increase our assets. So it's going to increase by 25,000. But we, we, we are more of like told that this 25,000 that we have given our data is also including VAT. So if it's including VAT, then it means Besides our fee, there's a component of VAT in that 25,000. So we're going to credit our fee account. And we are going to credit the VAT account. So we need to do a split of this 25,000. Okay? So for our fee, 25, so it's going to be 25,000. I hope you can see this. It's going to be 25,000. Try to enlarge. 25,000 multiplied by, so ours is 100, it's 100. And then we added on 15% for that, divided by 115. So there's 100 for us, plus 15% for that. So 100 is for us, and then we divide by 100 plus 15 percent. So this is how we determine our fee. Okay, so that is the formula. And then for the VAT component, so it's going to be 25,000, the 15 divided by 115. Because this amount is a wholesome amount, it's 100 for us plus 15 for VAT. Okay, so that's how we split when we say it's including VAT. That's how we split. That is how we are going to account for our transaction. So when we go back to our general ledgers, when we go back to our general ledgers, the one that I wanted to start by recording was our fee, but let's start with the debit, which is going to our data account. So which means on our data ledgers, Already we, we, we have our data, which is Mr. Jaden. Okay, so it's on 15 June 2022. Okay, and okay, and then we 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 are charging fees plus VAT. So the fees plus VAT is what? This 25,000. So that is how we record it in our ledger. This is how we record it. So this is the account for Mr. Jaden. He is our data, data, DR, creditor, CR. Okay, so he, we are giving him an invoice. When he pays us, then we credit him to show that he has paid. Okay, so when we go to our general ledger, we'll start with our fee account. So it's fee or fees account. I hope like that. So why we call it general? It's because we do not have to create a, a fee account for each and every client. We're just going to record all the fees of the firm. So whenever we are told that there's a meta, and then there the are fees that are coming, will come, we record in the fee account. So it's like a listing, a listing of our fees. At the end of the month, we add up, we say how much fees did we make. So that is the, the, the advantage of having to record your transactions because you are able to then get information from your accounting records to say in total how much have you made. 
So if we go back to our workings, you see our fee is what uh, on the credit side. So when we come to our account, we record it's 15 June 2022. And this particular fee, it's uh, more of like coming from our client, Mr. Jaden. So we link it to the account. So it will be our data, Mr. Jaden. This is a business transaction. And then the amount, we've calculated the amount, here is the amount. Okay, and then we pick up our amount. And then the next thing we have to record the VAT. This amount includes uh, uh, VAT. So we have to account for the VAT so that at the end of the day, we are able to account to the taxman. You see? So we come on the 15th of June, we raised fees, including of VAT. And how much is it? That is the amount. So this is how we record that first transaction. This is how we record the first transaction. And then, okay, I've recorded partly. And then here it says we transferred our fees on 29 June 2023. So when it comes to transfer, transfer, it's, it's uh, the money is sitting in the trust account. So on 29 June, that's when we are taking our fees. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do in sequence, so we can always sort our dates and then everything picks up and forms a sequence. But for now, I'm going to record as our transaction come so that we do not omit anything in our recording. OK, so in transferring our fees, this money is now moving for, from trust. And then from the trust, it goes to the business side. OK, so the first leg of the transaction is that we are going to move uh, the fee from. Um, so this is a uh, fee transfer. I hope now we have enough time to push. OK. It's now on the 29th of June, 2022. And then we start with the Let's start with the trust account. OK, so with the trust account. The trust is now paying into business. Trust with the trust account. So or we just call it trust. So with the trust side of things, so the trust is paying now into our business account. So what will happen is that we'll have to credit our trust account because it's a payment. Remember, it's a payment. So it's going to be Mr. Jaden. fee transfer. So how much when we are transferring from trust, we transfer the full. Remember, we are collecting. SARS does not collect on its own. We collect for them. Our duty, our mandate as a VAT vendor is we collect for them. So we transfer the full amount, including VAT. And there's no need for us to split the amount to show what belongs to SARS or what. We are just collecting. We are transferring. We know it's 25,000. We've rendered a, an account to the client. And then after that, we are collecting. OK, and then we are collecting against which file against the file of. Um, OK, sorry. So this one, it's uh, the, the trust cash book. Mm. So it's a fee transfer. So we are crediting it which means we are paying. Remember when we are crediting the trust account, we are paying. And then to complete on the trust side of things, we have to complete the double entry. So on our trust, uh, on our trust creditors ledger, which is uh, Mr. Jaden, we are going to reduce what is on the credit side of his account by doing what this fee transfer and how much are we taking from him? It's 25,000. 
like that. So now I'm going to show you this portion of the transaction in our ledgers. I'm going to show you in our ledgers, it will be so easy. We've done it before. So it's the 29th of June. We are paying into our business account and it's uh, Mr. Jaden and uh, it's a fee transfer, fee plus VAT, inclusive we do not have to split. So it's easy, 25,000, that's what we're paying. So to complete the double entry, then we go to our trust ledger, 29 June. So, so if you understand it off your head, you do not have to do any working. You just have to, to go to the ledger accounts and post. You post trust cash book. So 25,000. So basically, we are out of the money that is in the trust account, we are taking our fee. So it's going to be reducing. And then the, the, the second leg of our transaction is that now this money is going into our business account. So this is now the business. You see? So with the business side, it means on the same day, I hope it's the same bank. Okay? So our business account is receiving. It's receiving the 25,000. So it's a debit entry or it's a receipt. So we say uh, we are receiving from Mr. Jaden from trust, obviously the trust transfer. So this is our business cash book. Cash book, like that. It's receiving 25. And then we we are now, our, our, our client has paid us. So in his business side, in his account, we're going to credit him. So this is a uh, business ledger. Remember, this is the business side. We separate from trust and then it's fee transfer. It's like that. 25,000. So if you can have a look, it's more of like business account receiving trust paying. Trust ledger being reduced, also business ledger being reduced because we here we are going to be holding less trust funds. Here, we're going to have no data because our money is in our bank account. It's only between us and SARS. Okay, so we go and record it. We go to our business cash book. Okay, so I, I, I have been touched on the part of the opening balance. We'll touch it. And uh, now we record our receipt. Sorry. Recording it on the wrong side. 29 June 2022. So it's uh, Mr. Jaden and it's a trust transfer. And how much are we receiving in our business? 25,000. And then with this transaction, when we go to our data, you see, now we are receiving the money and we are reducing, which shows that. Mr. Jaden is not owing the firm anymore. Okay, and then the description, it's the money is in our trust, in our business cash book or bank account, business bank account, and it's a, a trust transfer. Yeah, 25,000, okay. The transaction, we, we, we have recorded it, we have finished, and then we, we move on to the next transaction, which is transaction B, where we brief Advocate Mahiba on the matter of Ms. Makta, and he, render, he renders it as a bill of 7,500 which we pay on 24 June. So this is a trust, it's something that is happening in the trust account. So 
when we were given the bill, which means we are paying, I'm not going to do the workings. I'm just going to talk and record because these are simple transactions. So on 24 June 2022, we are paying. It's um the matter of uh Miss Magda. And we are paying advocate Magiba uh, like that. And how much are we paying? 7,500. So when we are paying, then it means we go to our trust ledgers. We look at Miss Magda. We have credited, and then the side we're going to debit so that we complete the double entry. Like that. So it's a trust bank. It's we are paying advocate Magiba. That so how much is it? Seven thousand five hundred. Okay, so which means our account is now lower, and also our creditors we are owing them lower. Okay, and then the next one, and probably the last one, and then we'll cover the rest in our next uh, session, so that I do not take your time. Thirty June. Bank charges were 98 rands, interest 548. The bank will make a transfer to the LPC or to the fund on 1 July 2022. So this is 30 June. We've got our bank charges. So this is a transaction which is happening in our trust account. So for our bank charges, we are paying the bank. It's like our trust account is paying the bank charges so it's a payment how much 98 okay so what we also do we create on our ledgers we have to create a ledger for the fund or the lpc whichever way the money is going but now i think money goes to the l to the fund like the fund is now that is running things when we, when i was working for the lpc then, then the LPC was the one that was receiving the money and then pay over to the fund. But now the fund has decided to do otherwise to receive the money on their own. So they took over the bank accounts from the LPC. Okay. Like that. So it's the 98. The other side we've paid, it is on the credit side payments we've paid and then we are told there is interest to the value of 408 so when it comes to interest then we come 30 june so interest it's received being received in the trust account See, 20 june so it's interest received how much is it? Four or five, four zero five, just like that. And then when we are receiving it on our ledgers, then we also we credit the the fund. Uh, okay, trust. Bank and its interest, just like that. So it's four or five. And this one also, it's coming from the trust bank and its bank charges like that. So this is how we, we, we record our transactions. For the trust account, this is how we more of like record. So what I'm going to do, I'll stop here. And then when we when we continue, on, on, on next week, Thursday, we'll touch on the business account. We'll also touch on the two transactions for conveyancing as well as for collection. I think for the two hours, we'll be able to finish. Uh, let me and okay. stop sharing. And then I don't know if you've got any questions. It's now six o'clock. If you've got any questions, then I can answer before. Mm.
Um, I've got a question. Yes. Um, is it possible maybe for you to share the, the question or is it all, already on the on the platform? On the online platform, on the e-leader web um, platform? The question is not yet on the platform. I'm going to share it there so that also when we are meeting on Thursday, next week Thursday, then you guys probably you can then print it from your end and um we'll be able to to cover it i don't know if uh you guys want uh the template or you're yeah, fine it's uh just a standard template of the excel oh, with regards working. to the account with the, for the workings the t accounts mm. I, I don't know, but I think maybe sharing the question paper would be like, a, I think it would be like a good thing. For example, if maybe some week we get time during the weekend and sometime next week, maybe we can maybe like finish the question paper. And whenever you're going through each transaction, a, a person can see perhaps where they went wrong, you know, with regards to double entry and recording and so on. And maybe they can, you know, have questions with regards to what maybe went wrong and how do you recognize such a transaction and so forth and so on. So I think maybe sharing the question paper will be the best you know, option. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. share in, I'm going to share in the question now. And um, okay, I see on the chat, uh, Camille is saying I have a problem. Please, I have submitted emails now requesting email changes. And no one has changed things so I can receive the emails and the assessments are on my profile in my emails. Please, is there a number that I can phone tomorrow? You know, you know what you can do? Just probably give me your your email address. You can post the email address so that uh, I can share, I can email it to you for now. But otherwise, you, you need to talk to Grace so that she can change the emails. You can phone um, the e-leader number. And then Grace will be able to to, to share with you to to change your, your settings. She will be able to change your settings. Sorry, yes. And then uh, so last thing is okay. Please provide the template. Okay, I will do that. I'll provide the template as well. It, it's it's still blank. It doesn't. We haven't filled a lot. So if you can get time, I know, then you can work on it. Um. Okay. So okay, it's okay, Camille. What I will do is that I'll send you, then you can you can you can send me your query, then I can send it to Grace. I'll communicate with Grace so that she can assist you or she can change your email address on the system. Okay. Any other queries, any other, any other questions that you could be having before we we can go? And then Mr. Fanele, you can you can mute so that uh also yeah all right so it appears we don't have any other questions and yeah thank you so much for attending and hopefully next week you will be able to uh attend yes this this seminar that we had this session that we had is recorded it's recorded so I will ask Grace to share so far that what we've uh, we've also discussed so that she can share with you if you want to go through. And for those who could not attend, probably they can go through and then hear what we were discussing. OK, have a good night. Wish you all the best in your assignment too. Please try start now. You do your T accounts, even if they are blank, just do them. And then with time, you'll be able to fill them up. Whenever you get time, you'll be able to fill them up so that you can then submit on time. Thank you for your time. Have a good night. Goodbye.